I'm the worst person that can get coaching, so if you can get through me, you can probably get through anyone. Okay guys, so we're doing a Q&A today. We're asking each other questions back and forth. Okay, so my first question is for Chris. Chris, no matter what I do or what I say, I can't seem to get started with my workout, fitness, my exercise. Like, my situation, my story was I just can't seem to find any time or place to work out. So, um, Chris, I'm really stuck in the situation, so I wanted to ask you, what should I do? So you obviously want to start exercising. You want something that comes out of exercising. So let's start there. Mm -hmm. What do you want to achieve? What do you want to accomplish? Well, I want to be strong. I want to have strong legs and strong arms, strong core. Okay. And so what does being strong mean to you in all those aspects of yourself? Like I can do a pull-up. I can carry my own body weight. Okay. Okay, I got that. But uh, what, what's at stake here? What's going to pull you forward to be strong? Just being strong, is that enough to make you into action right now, today? Just wanting to be strong. So what are you asking me again? Like, <laughs> does just so you said you want to be strong? Yes. And I'm asking, does just be, just being well, strong how about want this? call you into okay, action uh, right now? How about, th how about this? I'm tired of being weak. I have the same answer. <laughs> does being weak call you into action right now to be strong, being make weak, improvements? Being weak actually is stopping me from taking action. Physically. And I'll tell you, it, everybody starts at the same level, your own level. Well, not everyone is at the same level, but it doesn't matter where where you are in, in your journey. You can always improve somehow some aspect of what you are doing. Okay, and my my question is though, like I'm having a hard time getting started, and there doesn't seem to be anything motivating. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything motivating me or like you say pulling me forward and that's what's really blocking me from taking further action I don't have anything calling me powerfully into action for me to get this workout started okay, I don't know if my goals are too low or too high or you know but yeah so uh, as I can see you're you're tolerating your current level mm -hmm. your current level of exercising mm -hmm. You have accepted it. You're saying, okay, that's okay. Tomorrow, I'll have tomorrow still. I have next month. Because also I had like all these projects I was working on. So I want to find a time and place to fit it, but it just doesn't seem to have anything working. You, despite whatever you're doing, everyone has things to do. Everyone has other priorities. You have to make this a priority. If you want, if you really want this goal, if yeah. you really want to become that person. So we have to start with the end in mind. What is the overall picture of that person? Imagine that person of who you want to become. I don't know, I just want to be strong. I think we were watching Wonder Woman and I'm not really that much of a strong, I'm, I'm not, I've never watched that whole movie so don't quote me on the Wonder Woman type of thing. But I watched the scene and this girl looked really strong and and flexible and powerful and all about. I want to be strong, flexible and powerful. And, and it's like she didn't start there. She didn't start, oh, with all this strength, with all this power. She had to progress day by day to make herself into that image of what you saw on the screen. What was so inspiring to millions of people she had to create that. She created it from nothing, day by day. Exercising is can be done anywhere. It's not limited to gyms. They may give you fancy, that look cool looking gadgets and tools and machines to make it look fun, but that's not the only place you can exercise. Okay, well, I'm still not inspired to work out, guys. Sorry, if anybody has any tips, please come help, because this is not helping me. Why do you need to be inspired? It's your own goal.
Well, I don't need to be inspired, but I just want to take action. And <laughs> I just want to take action, but it's like nothing is pulling me forward to start. to push yourself to do it and sometimes it takes discipline to actually go out and do that I don't want to work out every single day that I work out no way if I said to myself oh oh you feel tired and you don't know you don't feel good today Chris you don't want to work out and I just like let myself do that I want to work out like 80% of the time Did you hear that 80% of the time I don't want to. I don't feel right in the perfect mood to work out. 80% of the time you do or you don't want to work out? I have in my mind that, oh, this is going to be tiring. This is going to be a lot of work. 80% of the time? Yeah. And why do you work out? Because I know what I'm going to achieve by doing this workout. I love that progress. It's a, a sense of fulfillment, achievement, accomplishing your goals, and it, by the end of it, you feel good. You feel great. What I'm hearing is a powerful relation to your word and what you say. And your life goes the way, how your life goes, how you say it's going to go. They say it's going to go great. And mine, <laughs> and mine is like, it's going to go painful. <laughs> it's gonna go. And I'm just, I guess, I'm getting present to just reacting to situation and circumstances and not living life powerfully like I know how. It's mostly a reaction to a situation. That's your choice to look at it that it's going to be painful. You could choose to look at it, oh, this is going to take me one step closer to my goal. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we wanted to invite you guys to consider what creating a goal and I'm actually just starting this goal I haven't done a single lift or anything so um, I'm right here same place as hopefully a lot of people that are watching and want to get encouraged to work out we want to talk about this um, approach to working out that involves starting with the end and working backwards from your goals okay let's put that into action Okay, so if you guys remember... So, Myra, mm -hmm. what is your end goal? What do you want to accomplish? What kind of person do you want to become? What's my end goal? My end goal is to be... See, that's the thing. It's kind of vague. I, I think, you know, for this part, you need to be very specific in your goals and what you want to achieve. Um, for me, it's not necessarily weight loss because I've always been relatively small you can't see it in the camera maybe the camera is adding a little extra width because we have it on wide right in. but um i'm not really interested in losing weight i'm interested in, in gaining muscle gaining arm muscle leg muscle and toning my core my abs i am actually i do have um, my core i want to work on you know for weight loss but um, so that's a minor correction um so I don't you know said something you have to you said it has to be specific, so tell us something specific about your goals. Well, that's the thing. I can't, I can't necessarily right now tell you specifically how that looks like and how to answer this question. How to, how to make that, I mean, that would be it. It's like being, having a strong core. Okay, so muscle. having a strong core, what, is, what can you do with a strong core? Well, obviously, I don't. I I'm, I want a strong core mainly to help support my other um, um, what is it muscles and ligaments. Like, no, stop. Yeah. I said, what can you do? What, do you mean, what, what do you action? Mean? What activity can you do with having your strong core? I don't know about much activity that I can do, but I know. It's well, no, you imagine, you created what you wanted to become from this strong core. Well, I already told you that it's painful and it hurts. And it's like, I can't get through the first round. And I need a coach and I can't seem to... Um, Maybe you're doing it wrong. Did you ever think about that? No. It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be extremely painful. 
to be making progress. Why don't you pull it a step back, pull yourself back when you're going to that really extremely painful point. Well, pull starting back. is extremely painful. That's what I mean by extremely painful. <laughs> I'm the worst person that can get coaching. So if you can get through me, you can probably get through anyone. And I'm not trying to make myself difficult. I really do want to get here, but this is what I'm faced with. You have an answer for everything. Yes, you have a reason for everything. A reason not to do it. Why don't you provide yourself with reasons to do it? A reasons to accomplish your goal. But that would be like provide my, your reasons. My health and well being. Like it's like I can't afford Is that strong to be, enough for you to pull you forward? Yeah, I can't afford to be sick, to be fifty years old or sixty years old. But you're not fifty or sixty. No. So what's point going to pull you right now? That, you're, no, that, just, that future scares me to be, you know... It hasn't scared you enough then. <laughs> it scares me to be like, I, I don't want to be in that situation where I'm old and I'm depending on some sort of, you know, insurance to come and cover my medical costs. Like, that's not the life I'm committed to living. So like, you're, you're saying that you're scared of this, but you're actually not that scared of it because you're not taking action. Well, like, I'm bringing it to life right now, so I'm just getting present to it, like... No, but it's not like you didn't know five minutes ago that... I wasn't thinking about it five minutes ago. It's not that you didn't know, though. No, what? No, that that's the future you could be living into. If you're not exercising, you're not making sure you're having healthy habits. I know, but listen to me. I'm saying I wasn't present to it. Like right now that we're doing this um, coaching, I'm getting present to that world that um, what I'm walking into by not exercising. I'm getting present to that's the risk that I've been living along. I've been just kind of strolling ar along and not fully engaging with the idea that, man, if this continues, you know, Another day, you know, this is most likely my predictable future, unless I take action now. And what I'm struggling with is how do I make this exercise enjoyable where I want to exercise and I just, I can't wait to exercise or I can't wait to work out, I can't wait to do the next activity. I am just don't find the excitement in it right now and I just want to find how can I find this joy to bring me to taking that action every day or when I'm going to it. What do you think is going to bring you joy in, the, in any aspect of the exercise? Just really Before, during, after. Doing an activity that I like brings me joy. Okay, so... Like I badminton, mean, I, I enjoyed playing badminton. So that's the only thing? playing badminton but that's is that gonna get you your strong core legs upper body his strong shoulders <laughs> okay um okay that was a joke uh, i don't know I, I guess i just what about your progress is that gonna bring you joy yeah, I need to start again. I'm, I need to recommit to my word because uh, I guess I can wake up early, very early in the morning. Um, I was starting to run, actually. I was starting to run, and then I had a little pain here, and I stopped running altogether. But that running would bring me joy. I should be recovered to go back now, but having that sense of kind of being alive is what I had um, during running. I just saw like all these things I wanted to accomplish, you know, I felt in my running. I think, so do you think tracking your progress or your running or your badminton could bring you joy? No. Why would tracking my projects bring me joy?
to see where you were to what you have become. Maybe. Yeah. What did you say to me? <laughs> you you just said that you need to recommit. Uh -huh. But committing has got you nothing. You've committed, but I have done no action out of it. And? So is committing the answer for you? Well, I'm getting present to my own lack of words myself. You know, like, I don't seem to value my word. Like, if I say I'm going to, you know, build the muscle, I'm saying it, but there's no, like. It's just talk. It's just talk. It's just talk. I'm not honoring my word and what I say. I'm not honoring my my own worth, I guess. So coming to terms with that and just kind of cleaning it up. So this is an opportunity for me to clean up that mess I created, that story, the storm. I created a whole storm of a story. But why I can't work out and all my reasons and all my, with all the, all the glory that comes with my not wanting to work out, I'm ready to kind of put this in a big trash bag and just kind of grabbing it and just putting it, leaving it here in your backyard. Okay, <laughs> you say all that. Uh -huh. So what's the action? Tell so, me the action that you're going to do because you, you just brought all of this, you said you're ready. Tell me the actions you're going to take as a result. So let's do this. How about we do, so part of my commitment in this will be, um, so this is another thing that I wanted to add. Um, when creating this kind of plan, you need deadlines. And we are talking about this with Chris, a deadline that it's so powerful that it turns your want into a must, right? And these situations happen, you know what they are. You know what these situations are. You know, it, weddings, anniversaries, somebody died, breaking up. Especially the breakup one brings people powerfully into I must work out into that action you must work out because that's the only road you have in front of you that's it that's the only course of action to take so as part of my journey and my commitment I'm committing to um, I don't have anything coming up so the only thing near the near future I see is Halloween um, just to put things into a framework for the viewers if you're watching we're in August, August, August 2nd so that gives me August, July, no, August, September, October. Oh, two months, eight weeks, okay? So in eight weeks, what do I want to achieve in eight weeks? That gives me a kind of, it's a short-term goal. I'm not saying, oh, see, when people give their word to uh, New Year's resolution, there's no deadline, it's just uh, talking. But this is measurable. We can measure what happens in, in eight weeks, right? And so what I think, what we want to do as a daily creation or weekly creation is once a week, do a daily report, a weekly report. As part of my word, we'll do a weekly report and mon monitor that progress, what got done, what didn't get done in the week. And then um, we'll have some results, hopefully. Or see, anytime you say the word hopefully, maybe, perhaps, you're copying yourself out, you're copying you have a cop out, so there's no maybe in a conversation. It's like there will be results every week. Okay, so I want to add to that. Mm -hmm. So what's the consequence? Give yourself a consequence for not doing that, for not keeping your word right now, what you just committed to. Um, what's the consequence? It has to be compelling enough for you to force, make it a must. Consequence for me not doing my action? No workout. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding, okay. Um, consequence. So maybe. Or see, there we go again with that. Maybe get those words out of your vocabulary. Vocabulary this instant. Let's see. What could it be? What can possibly? Okay, there we go What's again. going to be compelling enough to pull you away from this consequence? It's like no, I don't want that to happen. I better keep my word. Well, I love coffee. I would be, oh. willing, to, I would be willing to give up coffee. So, mm -hmm. so, 
if you do not keep your word, uh -huh. you cannot drink coffee for the week. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would hurt. That would hurt because I love coffee. Oh no, let's yeah. let's go for yeah. coffee for the, the eight weeks. The eight weeks following that week you missed, uh -huh. no more coffee. Does that mean I can drink coffee though if I'm doing my workout, right? Yeah. Okay, so alright, I'm willing to do that. I will do that. Yeah. Okay. So let's pretend I missed today. Today, like the week ended and I didn't August second. Okay. So you can't drink coffee till October second. Oh a whole month? But that means that... If, that's what well, it means. Okay, fine then. That's what, that no. is what we are committing to here I know, and now. But I'm saying, what happens if I... If I see, that's the problem that I see with that. The problem I already see with that is that, like, let's pretend today I broke my word and I didn't do it. Then I'm going to be like, well, then why should I exercise the next few days if I'm not going to be able to have my coffee? This is keeping your word. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm training myself and keeping my word. Is this the training? This is keeping your word. Okay, so this training is also keeping and honoring your word. That I just had an aha moment. See, that was a breakthrough. It has nothing to do with the exercise. It has to do with me honoring and keeping my word. Okay, all right. Honoring and keeping your word. That is the message of the day. Thanks for watching. See you guys in one week. Yeah. Have fun.